is or the fifth prefix is mid that is used in your book okay so what the, uh, is it used uh, for what purpose is it used to so that something is in middle okay for example midway if you are if you say you are going somewhere and you are at the middle of the journey you will say i am in the i am at the midway or i am in the midway to reach the certain destination okay now mid summer am i the mid you are adding to the word summer okay and a new word is formed mid summer means you are at the middle of a summer season okay mid day so mid again is added to the word day so it means you are at the middle of a day now the last word over here is i am okay i am not n m okay so what does it mean it represents not opposite or without okay for example in patient okay someone is patient okay calm enough to wait for something to happen and someone is impatient he is not calm enough he cannot wait for something to happen for a long time and he has to hurry for the result so you say he is impatient okay or it is also the opposite word of patient impatient is the opposite word of patient okay impossible okay again it is the opposite word of the uh, opposite of the word im sorry possible okay the opposite word of possible is impossible okay if you say if i ask you to do something and someone says it is possible means it can be done and if someone says it is impossible means it cannot be done okay impure again the word impure is the opposite of the word pure okay impure is the opposite of the word pure okay so impure means that thing is not pure okay some extra uh, material is added to that uh, object and it is not pure or to its true state okay so here there is a exercise given and it's written over here underline the prefixes in these words so you have to underline just the prefixes of these words just like in on lock the root word is lock okay so the prefix over here is un un okay in the second word this appear the root word is appear a p p e a r appear so the prefix over here is this okay in the third word you can see the word is reset the root word over here is set and the prefix over here is r e t okay similarly you are going to underline the prefix or the prefixes from these words given over here okay you will do it on your book itself now there is a next exercise in your next page okay which is exercise f okay here it's written add this re or un these are prefixes okay to make new words you have to make new words okay to by adding one of these prefixes to these words so over here one of them has been done like 
the first word is what is a point so you have added this to the word a point and a new word has been formed over here which is this a point okay obey the next word is obey so what will you add to the word just think of it this obey you cannot write re obey okay re means what does re mean according to the chart that i have shown you again you cannot say re obey okay you will be saying to ask uh, asking to obey again that will not be the correct word you cannot add unobey okay that will not be the word un will be means not or opposite but it cannot be added to the word obey okay you will add this to the word okay and write obey so this word will be the opposite of obey and this obey means you are not following something that someone has asked you to do okay agree okay the third word is agree now again you have to add one of this prefixes again the word that will be added is this agree okay the prefix that will be added is this and the root word is agree okay heat so what will be the prefix that will be added over here is re okay heat means you have to heat that object again okay wind re wind okay similarly try to make a new words out of this words given over here by adding a prefix to it okay you will also do this on your 